Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. Today's video is dedicated to pros and cons of buying an older house. And this video is made by a real estate agent myself from here, Calgary with EXP Realty. I'm going to tell you guys why you should or shouldn't buy an older house for you to decide because there's certain cons, pro, pro, pros and there are certain cons of buying a place like that. So guys, here you go. Well, I purchased my house not too long ago. I purchased an older house because of certain advantages of what, what I wanted to get out of it. I have a strong reasoning why you should buy an older house. But a lot of my clients right now are searching for newer houses and they want to buy newer houses. They don't want to buy an older house. So here you go, guys. Why? Okay, let's say why you should not buy an older house and then I'll tell you why you should buy it. Okay, cons. Start, let's start with cons. Well, first of all, it's an older house. So, most likely, a lot of things are not up to code because it was built quite a long time ago. So, there's a lot of updates that need to be done. The electrical might be not up to code, the plumbing issues might be there. There's also a chance that the roof is getting old, the water tank for your hot water might need to be replaced. The furnace is one of the major appliances. If it goes bad in Canada, you freeze. So, like, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. In, in an older house, there are some material latent defects that can cause you a lot of grief, a lot of money, if they're not up to code. Some insulation might not be done properly. And that's where you would have to get an inspection done before you purchase. Some things, guys, that only real estate agents can advise you. By the way, guys, you know why I'm not wearing my suit and I'm not wearing my jacket right now? After I became a real estate agent, not too long ago, I just realized that it's one of the hated, most hated professions. And I figured out that people that I know when I tell them that I'm into real estate, they think I want to sell them something or I want to sell their house. So they get, they're getting worried about, they're like, oh my God, you're real estate. I have a real estate agent. I've been working with that guy for 20 years. Like, I'm, I'm scared of talking to you. What if you make me sell my house? Like, I don't care if you sell your house or not. <laughs> I just tell you that I am. I'm not here to force you into something. On YouTube, guys, I'm actually just making free content for everyone so that you have access to that information that I had to pay $8,000 for training to get to get my license in. I'm giving it to you for free right now. So that's one of the things, buying an older house, a lot of things can go wrong. You know, it's it might be unreliable. Okay, you might have to do a lot of repairs. Some things, there might be some surprises you'll be finding, finding out, like in the house I purchased, there was a vent going under the floor, going nowhere, abandoned vent that used to be for a fan, I suppose, for a washroom. It was just there, uh, going outside, not locked, not nothing. I bet you something could crawl through it into the house even, if something wanted to crawl into the house. So you get a lot of surprises. I found so many surprises from the previous owner and my place when I was making, getting it up to code, illegalizing my basement here in Calgary to rent it out, to make it a legal basement suite. I had to get it up to code and I had to face so much of interesting things that probably a previous owner or whoever he hired did that which was not exactly correct and up to code but anyways this is one of the fun and cons of having an older house now why the hell did i buy such a crappy house you would say right there is a dog and the door is open i better walk faster i better work faster because the door is open the dog is there <laughs> I'm scared. One of the uh, one of the dangers of being a real estate agent is you have to deal with dogs like that, animals. Anyways, but I know how to run fast now. So experience. Anyways, guys, back to the topic. Why the hell did I buy an older house? Number one reason is that, well, you get a bigger lot. Okay, the house value itself is not that much. So naturally, older houses, the zoning, usually it is bigger. So I have more land and more land value and therefore more resale value. Now, because the house itself 
and the location itself is more expensive than the house itself, right? If it's an older house, if I do some renovations to it, right, I fix the roof, I fix the roof, I change the windows, because the windows were no good, I did a lot of renovations in the basement to get it up to the code, so now I have a legal basement suite, but then my price of the house went up, if you want to have an investment property, and I'm selling this house, I would want more money now, so the price of the house goes up, the roof was bad, so I negotiated a cheaper price for this house, and now changed the roof, so... I can ask for more money now for this house. You know, the windows were, well, they were not like, they were cold for winter, drafty. I changed the windows, spent $5,000 for that. Now I can change more money for that. So the land itself, they're doing some repairs to this house increases its value. If I get a newer house, let's say, and I do the same kind of things, well, why should I do repair anything? And the value is not going to go up because the value of the newer house would be more into the house itself, not the location. Now, another part is location. You, for an older house, you get location closer to the downtown, closer to the inner city, closer to those neighborhoods where you have like big vegetation. I mean, the trees are big. The community is established. I know there is a highway over there. It's not going anywhere. I know that there's houses over here, let's say, and they're here already because there's no, no new builds coming up. So one of the things is, with advantages, is its predictability. I know what I spend my money for, okay? I know that at this location, it's already fully developed. I know what to expect from the neighbors. I know how the neighboring houses are looking like. And I know that there's not going to be a surprise, like that electrical st station over there just popped up, you know, like it's going to pop up. It was there for like forever, I guess, because it's always been there. Anyways, so it's predictability. Buying an older house in developed community, you know, you're not going to get a surprise like, you know, you're buying a new house and everything is empty, you see the mountain view here in Canada, you're like, wow, I just love the location and you buy it, you start enjoying it, all of a sudden the developer shows up, but he's on the area and badam, there is a building right in front of your window and you're like, no more mountains for you, because, well, that's one of the, one of the, you know, negative parts, you know, that's the positive part about the older house is predictability, the value, resale value of that house, okay? The newer and older houses, well, you don't get that warranty, so it's a cons, you know, like expenses. But that's one of the things that I love so much about older houses. And I don't mind fixing things up myself. I'm like a fixer-upper, okay? And buying the house, I became a drive-over, a carpenter, HVAC professional, what else did I become? I became part-time plumber, I'm still, I don't like doing plumbing. I can hook up a dishwasher, but I don't like, I hate doing plumbing. Because sometimes it just leaks and I can't explain why it happens. So I hire a real plumber uh, if I need to do something serious. And gas, I'm not even going to touch. So you can pull up the homeowner's permits, you can do these kind of things. And it's kind of, could be stressful if you don't know what you're doing. Or you don't know how to Google it on YouTube on how to fix certain things. I just learned everything of YouTube, just like you guys watching this video. So this is the main pros of buying an older house. Location, value you know and predictability so it's it's a lot it's a lot and if your older house is so old that has no value to it and there's some really expensive houses coming up and developers are coming to the area to rezone it to buy it you can find some houses that are really close to downtown in calgary that are really old like 100 year old houses at kensington that are like whew, 500 600 thousand dollars still they are like, it's just, yeah, so bad, some of them, so bad. But the land value is what is expensive there. So if you were to buy that place, take it down and build a nice house over there, of course, with the city's permission and everything, you could potentially own a million dollar house over there. So just saying, guys, that's the advantage, main reason why I got myself an older house. Now, guys. If you want to know pros and cons about buying a new house, I can tell you a lot about that. 
So let me know in the comments down below if you're interested, guys. And by the way, I'm a real estate agent here in Calgary, and I'm not going. I'm not here to force you buy or sell or you know my services or anything, guys. But if you need expertise on the local market, I'm here to help you out. And if you're whatever you are in Canada and you need help, I know people in every single city here in Canada, and I can refer you to the right person to help you out. Anyways, guys. By the way, guys. It, it, Subscribe to this channel. We'll see you in the next video. See you in Canada. Igor out. <laughs> well, you.